Making sense of, make sense, understanding context and usage. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a very common English phrase, make sense. This phrase is used frequently in both written and spoken English, and understanding it can help you enhance your communication skills. So, let's get started and make sense of, make sense, together. Make sense, literally means to be coherent or understandable. When something makes sense, it means that it is clear and easy to comprehend. The phrase often suggests that the information or situation is reasonable and logical. It can be used in various contexts, which we will explore today. In everyday conversation, when used in day-to-day -day conversations, saying something makes sense often comes after an explanation or statement. It's like telling someone that what they've said is clear to you. For example, after the weather report, you might say, ah, bringing an umbrella today makes sense. In the workplace, in a business or professional setting, make sense is used to validate a strategy, decision, or idea. It's a way of acknowledging that a concept is smart or well-planned. For example, Focusing our efforts on online marketing makes sense given our target audience's behavior. In academic discussions, in education or academic discussions, making sense is crucial for understanding theories and concepts. It is also a polite way to question understanding, such as, Could you explain it once more? It doesn't quite make sense to me yet. Agreeing with someone when you agree with someone's opinion or logic, you might say, that makes sense. It shows that you follow and concur with their reasoning. Disagreeing with someone, on the flip side, if something doesn't seem right, you might express your perspective by saying, that doesn't make sense to me. This could lead to further explanation or discussion to reach a common understanding. You can also use, make sense, in a question to ask for clarification or confirm that what you have understood is correct. For example, I'm planning to discuss the new policy in the meeting. Does that make sense? You're suggesting we postpone the project, right? Does that make sense, considering our deadlines? Sometimes, make sense can have a subjective element, depending on personal judgment or opinion. What makes sense to one person might not to another, which leads to the idea that sense-making is a personal process influenced by one's knowledge, experiences, and biases. I hope this video has helped clarify the phrase, make sense, for you. Remember, it's a versatile term that can be used in many different contexts to convey understanding, logic, and reason. As always, Thank you for watching, and I look forward to helping you make more sense of the English language in future videos. Keep practicing, and you'll find that English will start making more sense to you every day. Goodbye for now.